Hello. See you later. Oh my god. What are we witnessing right here? And there we go. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are seeing if bosses can survive against the ender prism from the ender sword mod now this thing obviously looks similar to the last prism but as we can see we're gonna test it right here this thing you know it's it's not exactly the same as the last prism as we can see it might be a little bit stronger now i have two of them and you may be wondering why do i have a second one well the first one i have here shoots 25 beams the second one shoots 100 beams may cause lag let's see it in action Oh my god. Not only can it potentially cause lag, but it can mess up your ears. But yeah, I think we're probably going to use the stronger one. I don't know. They both do the same damage. They just shoot less beams. So it doesn't really matter. You know how it is though. Let's get started on the bosses. Before we get started on that, let's get started on our sponsor. The year is 2020. We have replaced our giant flip phones with slim and advanced smartphones. But for some reason, we still carry around giant pieces of leather filled with garbage in our pockets. Why carry that around when you can carry the Ridge wallet? It's light, sleek, and industrial, plus it doesn't have to fold or awkwardly bulge out of your pockets. The Ridge wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 styles and colors including carbon fiber and my personal favorite, burnt titanium. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty thanks to the durable material it's made out of, meaning you can buy one wallet and carry it your whole life. The team behind Ridge wallets is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. If all of that wasn't enough to win you over, check out the 30,000 plus 5 star reviews. So what are y'all waiting for? Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash raiders and use code raiders. The link will be in the description and comment section below. Back to the video. Starting with the king slime. What's up king slime? You know, I'll just use the uh, 25 beam one on you and he's dead. The game froze. Like I didn't even get to kill him in a satisfying way. I didn't even get to see him die like that. I got to do it again. There we go. The game didn't freeze that time. All right, let's go ahead and see the Eye Cthulhu before he tries to run away. See you later. We're not even going to see a second form from you. Same thing with Skeletron. Get him out of here. None of them are trying to run away as soon as I spawn them in. I know a couple Terraria bosses that are like that. Cough, cough. The Christmas and Pumpkin Moon bosses, they like to run as soon as you spawn them during the day. But these guys, they are not fast enough. Let's do the Queen Bee. See you later. She probably was going to run away. I had to make sure she didn't. All right, here we are. We are in the crimson let's see the brain here now this is gonna be interesting uh let's see if i could kill like everything at once let's get like one beam and then go like this oh that was clean the maneuvers were clean i hit him with the old clockwise sweep right here perfect and that was the regular 25 beams not even the 100 all right here we are in the corruption let's go ahead and spawn the eater which i always had to type in because for some reason he's not in the bosses section there's the eater we all know and love and he's dead hey since i actually have a tmod 64 installed correctly this time we actually get to see lepus and oh oh my god lepus died like legit instantly faster than the king slime and turkorm they're back from the dead and they're dead again next up the wall of flesh hello see you later you now if i ever find that there's any sort of resistance from any bosses whether it's storium or calamity bosses we will switch to the 100 beam one uh just to help out even more but yeah let us go ahead and see the mech bosses here we're gonna spawn all three of them at once just to make it easier for us and let's see if they all die yes sir looking good so far and what about you yes sir see i was thinking it was gonna take multiple hits for the destroyer but nope he died just quick i guess while we're at it let's go ahead and do the event bosses for once we're doing them early start with the uh ever scream okay dead next up the sand tank dead and last but not least from that event the ice queen see you later so yeah we're seeing like zero resistance from all of these bosses now we usually don't see too much resistance in general from vanilla bosses but like you know there'll be a boss every now and then like the destroyer the eater the brain who will, who will be a little bit weird or have a weird interaction with some uh op weapons but so far it has seemed flawless from the ender prism this like might be in our hall of fame of weapons i don't know we got to get to the calamity stuff you know there's only a few weapons that have beaten all the calamity stuff eidolon worm included speak about eidolon worm let's go ahead and do the uh dungeon guardian just to get him out of the way boom there's the dungeon guardian this is with the calamity mod installed too so 
Oh, look at this. We have our first resistance. He's still dying, though. He's still dying. Slowly but surely. Hey, you could kill the Dungeon Guardian with a decent bit of weapons as long as you're able to just, like, you know, finesse and dodge him. But we might have our first resistance now. I don't know if this weapon has any uh, piercing. You know what I'm saying? Any defense penetration. And we're using the 100 beam here. The 100 beam is a little bit faster, but it's still not insta killing him. I'm going to consider that, you know, a survivable boss right there. Quote unquote boss. All right. Next up, since we were doing event boss. Bosses, let's get the Martian Saucer in here. Okay, Martian Saucer died instantly, even though it has two phases and multiple segments. Let's go ahead and get the Dark Mage in here. Okay. Very interesting noises. Didn't even know the Dark Mage made those noises. Next up, the Ogre boom and last but not least from the old ones army betsy see you later we also cannot forget the dutchman there he is boom hit all of those cannons at once even though i feel like i didn't even need to and since we have the mod installed we could actually fight akram too which is very nice see you later akram all right it is time for duke fish ron but you know how it goes it's more like duke fish gone all right, we are here in the jungle temple. Go ahead and take on the golem here. Beautiful 1.4 sprite golem. See you later. Boss still sucks even in 1.4. And then now let's go ahead and take on Plantera. See you later. One or two phases, it does not matter to the ender prism. But if you have a damage cap and some defense, it might matter. Cough, cough, calamity mods when we get there. We chilling here with the boys. I'm about to murder all of them though. They don't know that. See you later, boys. I'm sorry that I had to do that. All right, and let's go ahead and insta kill it. You know, I'm gonna just charge it up already. See you later. And now we got the pillars. Ooh, the solar pillar first. You know, this pillar is causing me a lot of pain in the past. Let's go ahead and take it out. Next up, the Nebula one. You know, this is also another one that's caused me some pain. The Stardust one, this one hasn't caused me too much pain. It could get a little annoying fighting this one, but it's not that bad. And last but not least, the Vortex one. This one isn't too bad either. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for me to go do something else while I wait for the Moon Lord to spawn in. Oh my God, the Moon Lord is here. All right, I want to see if I can do this in a nice, you know, sweep a nice sweeping motion let's wait for his top eye to open and i'm gonna hit the top eye boom hit that eye and we're keep going around in a circle yes sir we hit him with the beautiful clock attack but let's get to the moment y'all have been waiting for and that's the modded bosses let's make it night time because it's time to fight the primordials from the thoria mod and also uh abyssion hopefully i don't forget him yeah let's hit him with the counterclockwise i'm about to hit him with it Boom, boom, it's a little loud, but they're all dead. Oh, look, doesn't hurt my ears or anything. All right, next up, Abyssion. Let's see here. I'm always interested in Abyssion and what he does. Survived with one health. Always a surprise, this one. All right, Abyssion, con congrats to you. But if I if I did it like this, he, he wouldn't survive it with one health. All right, it is time. Now, I should ask you guys a question. Other than, like, leaving more OP items to check out, like, what are some, like, bosses from the Calamity mod that are OP, too? Because I feel like there might be some more uh, bosses from the Calamity mod that have damage caps that I just don't know about. But these are usually the ones I go to. You know, Devourer of Gods, Supreme Cal. Yeah, those are a couple of the go-tos. But let us go ahead and take on Dog here. This is where the true challenge really begins, if we're being honest. Oh, okay. The Ender Prism just flying past my expectations. That's very interesting, especially since it had trouble with the Dungeon Guardian. Oh my God, what are we witnessing right here? Are we witnessing a Hall of Fame OP weapon? This thing is slowly getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. We gotta see. We gotta see, make sure it's not a fluke. It's time for the Jungle Dragon. Let's see right here. I'm, I'm gonna start using the, the 100 beam one, okay? Okay, I think that worked and sent him into the second phase. You know how it is with uh, this dude, how he has weird phases. But I don't know, maybe a damage cap right there? The game is freezing every time I use this thing. They were lying about the lag. But he is entering phase two. It only took two taps, which is honestly surprising for any uh, OP weapon in this series. All right, here we go. His health bar is back. Not bad. Four taps for my boy Yarin here. 
and there you go he is dead honestly you know it wasn't the one tap it wasn't the insta kill i was expecting but that is probably one of the best i've ever seen any weapon do in this series for a while but now it is time to see if it does this stuff to not only the idol on worm but supreme cal herself we got the eye of extinction here let's use it as you can see the old arena is still here from when i fought her whatever episode ago let's do it we gotta dodge this quote-unquote dodge am i right i haven't even moved and I'm, I'm doing pretty good at dodging it you know how it is though we gotta feel on supreme cow's balls over here you gotta break her balls uh can we kill the sepulcher oh no he's gone okay well it's not gonna answer the killer but it is gonna you know chop down her phases slowly so honestly i think this weapon is not too bad in terms of you know what i'm testing it out for here because look at that it's doing the damage she's actually taking damage instead of it being caught at a damage cap and any weapon that does that against calamity bosses honestly that's impressive she gonna make us fighter brothers now and i'll hit them with the clock and then i'll hit her with the clock the super fast clock though look at this this is when the clock is broken and it's going so fast. This like happens in cartoons and shit. Is she alive still? I don't know what's going on. She's sending out the dirty bubbles to come get me. Get the hell away from me, you dirty bitch. Is she fighting me now? Can I kill the sepulcher? I can't kill the sepulcher. It's, it's all good. It's all good. We're not here for the sepulcher. We're here for Supreme Cal. When do I get to attack her? Oh, now I do. And there we go. It's been a while since I've seen that whole entire boss fight. Looks like hell. Probably won't fight her in the Calamity playthrough. She's a bonus boss. Not required. All right. You know what time it is then. We went through all those bosses. It's time for the Eidolon Worm. Now, honestly, if this weapon can't kill the Dungeon Guardian, I don't expect it to kill the Eidolon Worm, but I have to test it anyways, bro. We got to test it every time. Okay. No kill, but still honestly impressive because doesn't this boss have like insane defense? So like honestly, any damage done is always impressive. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Ender Prism honestly impressed me. It showed off a lot it did more than a lot of other weapons in the past couldn't and just for that alone you know i definitely consider this one of the best weapons we've gone over my only gripe with the weapon is the sprite is kind of ugly i don't know maybe i'll make putis tune this up before i put it in the thumbnail because it literally is the last prism but purple like it doesn't even have like a cool like gradient like the you know original last prism has where it's like a rainbow gradient look, look at that the, the last prism looks cool this thing does not look that cool but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave some comments for more op weapons because honestly they get hard to find they get a little hard to find especially ones as good as this so you know just just leave some comments but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video there was probably a sponsor on this video at some point shout out to them Bye bye